Hey what is going on guys it is Lasty here and today again I've been really busy this week so I haven't had too much time to play FIFA so what I'm going to do again is just show you all the different teams I have some of them you know maybe the same I might I've still got a couple of the bronze teams I've shown you before but um, I do also have some gold teams which you wouldn't have seen before and I thought I would just share with you my squads and then the goals at the end will just be a complete amalgamation of every single goal that I've scored really so far with these teams but there's not too many of them because I haven't had the time to play so the first team we've got here you have seen it before is the English bronze team I won't spend too long on it it's about pace at the back um, Osborne being the standout player there McSheffrey is a great player and then we've got some nice pace up front with Graben and Slu and this is a really OP team to play with online again to match that, we've also got the MLS bronzes, which, as in my last video, you will, you also know that there's a lot of pace at the back. Opara and James. Um, Kanji's the one to watch in this squad with his four-star skills and weak foot. And then I bought this guy up front. Someone told me he's the new Kanji, and he seems pretty good. Not too bad at all. But that's the bronze MLS squad. Um, keeping in the theme of bronze, I did actually go out and build this. I was... I was text chatting to Toby Layton, for a fellow Ipswich YouTuber, on Skype the other night, and I decided to go ahead and build a K League team. And this is what I came up with: a couple of players out of contract there, but the K League has got some very solid centre backs. If you look at that right there, some nice pacey uh, centre backs right there, 77 and 78 pace. The right back's got 93 pace. Um, we've got a four-star skiller here. Uh, who's he's very good he scores obviously like six goals in four games and for a thousand coins that's brilliant and then uh, the another goal scorer here is going to be this guy Byung Jun No uh, 85 pace and 61 shooting and a ridiculous haircut but three star skills lets him down just a little bit and then I tend to play uh, the other team on the bench to rotate them and you know gain the fitness back Okay, so what we've done there is just show you the three bronze teams I have. Let's move on to something slightly more silver. Um, uh, no bench on here at the moment. I'm not quite sure why. But it, as you can see, it is a silver Eredivisie squad. Um, and the few games that I've used to this, it seems pretty solid. We've gone with 3-5-2 again. It's a very popular formation and I really, really enjoy it. Uh, this is the standout defender, Vig. Virgeva, something like that, I don't know, 75 pace, 75 defending, standout stats, he does cost a bit, 7k, um, but he's a decent defender, I really like him, this guy's got 70 pace and then some okay stats, but this non-rare guy has got 80 pace, which is brilliant there for a centre back, um, Lorin Duarte again, I'm playing him in a CDM, which you probably shouldn't do, but, um, I wanted him in the team somewhere, and that was, there wasn't any other good CDMs really, in my opinion. But the one in this team to watch is this guy, Debay, Debay, Memphis Debay. Four star skills and weak foot, right footed, who plays on the left hand side. Scored a couple of nice goals for me, hopefully I'll have them recorded. I might not though, unfortunately, but he is a really solid player. I highly recommend him if you have either a Dutch team, a silver Dutch team, Eredivisie, whatever. Um, but there's some nice players there, the two strikers, both decent pace and decent shooting, but no skills really, only three star on both of them. And Overtoom here, 84 pace and 71 shooting, again, is pretty solid. So, as you can see, I don't really want to spend too much time talking about all of these teams, just because, you know, it takes up time, I want to I wanna keep these videos under about 10 minutes. But this squad here is going to be a Russian league, I was going to do like a budget builder on this. Um, but I haven't had too much time to play really so as you can see we've got a fairly solid Russian League squad here with some man beasts up front. In goal we've got Akinfeev who is a great keeper, 88 dive and 89 reflexes. He'll run you back about 5 grand so you can get a cheaper keeper, a cheaper keeper um, if you wanted to make this about a 10 to 15k squad but we've got some fairly okay um, players here, the two centre backs have obviously got some nice pace, 77 and 76, which is very good indeed. Non-rare cards, so they are cheap. And Saldi, again, has got a nice card this year. Very good player. Um, Carlos Eduardo, again, five-star skills. Playing him in that centre mid spot. He gets seven chem where he is, and so does Basufa. You can obviously move them back, but it does cost a bit. And this is a budget builder, so 
you know, you don't have to have the perfect chemistry. Uh, Axel Witzel there in the mid, in the centre mid spot. I wish he had a rare card because he'd be that little bit more desirable. But this year he does have four star skills and weak foot, and nice, really nice across the board stats there for him. Fantastic player indeed. Uh, rock solid centre mid right there. And then up top we've got this guy, uh, Lacina Traore, six foot eight, uh, and he's younger than me. That is ridiculous. I was born in January 1990, and he is younger, which is crazy. He obviously sprouted up quite tall in the uh, 22 years that he's been on this planet. Um, but he's pretty good, you know, very tall, obviously. Not bad to have 79 pace if you're that tall. Um, and then our two strikers, we've got Wellington with the 92 pace and 4-star skills. And then this guy, I was kind of thinking I should do like a player review on him. Emmanuel Emanique, Emanique, whatever you want to call him. But 6 foot, 90 pace, he's got like 94 strength and 85 finishing or something crazy. He scores a lot of goals and he's a fantastic player. Uh, I really, really would recommend you to go out and buy one of these. If you've got a Nigerian squad or a Russian league squad, something like that. Uh, but he fits in nicely in this Russian league. And the final squad we've got for you today is, again, focused on Emma Nike. Um, and it's quite a cool little hybrid. Uh, I saw I saw this somewhere on Twitter, or a variation of this on Twitter, and figured I would go ahead and make something similar. Basically, an OP team with really good strikers, with Wellington, Emma Nike, and then Marco Royce as a centre-forward. is just It's a fantastic squad. We've got two very OP centre-backs there in David Luiz and Felipe Santana. You can't go wrong with Marcelo uh, and Pitzek, Pitzek, whatever you like to call him. I was thinking that I could also do this by having like Sergio Ramos, Jordi Alba and then Xavi or someone like that in the midfield. That would work quite well. Um, I think that might, I, I might even try that at some point actually. That would work very well. Um, it's about time I use Sergio Ramos in this game. I haven't used him yet. But Bastian Schweinsteiger is a great player in here. Not very pacey, but with that cracking long shot on him. Um, but it's all about Emma Nike. Uh, he scores a lot, a lot of goals and is just a fantastic player. But those are the squads that I've got for you at the moment. Uh, here are some goals to show you. And hopefully I'll have a bit more time to play soon and actually choose some specific teams to do squad builders with. But thank you for watching. A like would be incredibly appreciated. And let me know in the comments maybe a team that you'd like me to build for future episodes. But cheers guys and I will catch you later. Peace.